This video is about secret societies and politics and for people who don't understand, you know, why I'm against feminism and misandry or the hatred of men. It's not based on some arbitrary idea. I I promote strong leaders, cerebral thinkers, um, and reciprocity, you know, the exchanging of things for mutual benefit. Now back to secret societies. I believe that anyone who doesn't believe two things should be banned from politics and should not be a politician. One, that secret societies exist, and two, that they are the most profound, powerful influence on politics and society today. Let me explain why. I'll start with secret societies in college. This is from Wikipedia, but it doesn't take a genius to see that they're right and that you can Google every name, every college, and you can Google every secret society that they list as part of that college, and it's out there. The colleges they list are the College of William and Mary, Cornell University, Dartmouth College, Dickinson College, Georgetown University, Georgia Institute of Technology, Harvard University, Norwich University, Pennsylvania State University, Princeton University, Rutgers University, University of Georgia, University of Miami, University of Michigan, University of Missouri, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, University of Pennsylvania, University of Virginia, Washington and Lee University, and Yale University. Now let me go on to the most famous, because there's hundreds of secret societies that are registered in the United States. Again, look it up. Um, the most famous secret society that is probably not registered in the United States, and I'd be very surprised if it was, because they basically have um, become part of Freemasonry, and I'll explain why that is in a moment, is the Illuminati. Also from Wikipedia, but again, you can verify this from countless other sources. I'll give you their definition. The Illuminati, plural of Latin Illuminatus, or enlightened, is a name given to several groups, both real and fictitious. Historically, the name refers to the Bavarian Illuminati, an Enlightenment-era so secret society founded on May 1st, 1776. Now listen carefully to this part. The society's goals were to oppose superstition, prejudice, religious influence over public life, and abuses of state power, and to support women's education and gender equality. So you don't miss that. And to support women's education and gender equality. Now I'll tell you why in a moment that they're wrong to do this. I'm not saying that women should be educated. I'm not saying that people should not be equal on a certain level. But again, I believe in rep reciprocity and um, gender rules from the Quran, the Bible, and the Torah, and not, and not well, respected people respected to the religion, and not a feminist form of gender equality. The Illuminati, along with other secret societies, were outlawed by the Bavarian ruler Charles Theodore, with the encouragement of the Roman Catholic Church, and were permanently disbanded in 1785. So again, the religious institutions that have historically supported gender roles that feminism are against are the people who disbanded the Illuminati back then. And they were permanently disbanded in 1785. In the several years following, the group was vilified by conservative and religious critics who claimed that they had regrouped and responsible for the French Revolution. The Illuminati movement was founded in May 1st, on May 1st, 1776, in Augustat, Upper Bavaria, as the Order of the Illuminati, and had an initial membership of five. The founder was the Jesuit taught Adam Weishaupt, who was the first lay professor of canon law at the University of Ingolstadt. The order was made of free thinkers as an offshoot of the Enlightenment and seems to have been modeled on the Freemasons. Illuminati members took a vow of secrecy and pledged obedience to their superiors. Members were divided into three main classes, each with several degrees, and many Illuminati chapters drew membership from existing Masonic lodges. So obviously Masons are made of, of people from different religions, different backgrounds, and different secret societies. And almost all the secret societies get their information from Freemasonry. So to not see the connection between secret societies and Freemasonry is stupidity. To not see the connection between secret societies and politics and money and power is beyond stupid. And people who do not believe that secret societies have an uncanny, unfair influence on politics and society should be banned from politics. Now, 
Let me describe other secret societies because I just went to the colleges and the most famous one. Secret societies that influence politics today that nobody can deny, that nobody can deny, include Al-Qaeda, which have been described countless times as a secret society correctly because their membership is obviously secret. Their agenda, for the most part, is secret. We just know what they, quote-unquote, have you know delivered on websites and on YouTube, which is questionable at best. Other secret societies include the Israeli Mossad, the CIA, the Russian Secret Service, the FSB, which is the largest security force in Europe. So the largest security force in Europe is a secret society. But some of you are dumb enough to think the secret societies have nothing to do with politics. Oh, they don't influence society. It's just conspiracy theory. Then, of course, you have the um, Freemasons and the American Secret Service as well. And there's countless other um, law enforcement groups and security f groups that I haven't mentioned. These are just the blatantly obvious ones that obviously influence politics and are in the news all the time, pretty much every day. So, going back to feminism and how people try to equate it with racism unfairly, because Adam Weishaupt never said that he was going to use the races to break down the family, but he did say he was going to use women to break down the family. The answer, in my personal opinion, is Islam. Because Islam treats women fairly. They, they cover them up, not, not so that they can um, control them or so that they are oppressed or repressed, but rather so that women can be judged on their virt virtue and not on their looks. And so men are told to gaze down, not just women, because again, it's not to control women, it's so that the better qualities of women can dominate in society instead of um, women using what feminists call their pussy power. And if you don't think they do that, look at feminist protests. They almost always consist of women getting naked and writing things on their body because they're objectifying themselves and they're using their body and then they turn around and say, hey, don't objectify women. So we go um, on and talk about, uh, I'm going to go back to the secret societies at this point. I only, I only have a couple minutes left. Again, the reason why I say that um, I, there was something I was supposed to go back to and I, I got lost in my thought, you know. Um, was it the Freemasons, the gender equality? I'll, I'll have to go back to it in the comments. But I'll have to end this on the, on the secret societies, okay? The people who would deny the secret societies have a profound influence on politics, A, either don't know what the fuck, I mean, what the fuck they're talking about, B, they're part of a secret society or they have friends who are, and they want to cover up their involvement and their influence on politics. You know. Or they're part of the Republican elites. Okay. Um, the Illuminati was originally formed as, as a Republican movement. But then the re conservatives are the ones who ended up um, leading the charge against them. Because they started taking on democratic policies. Uh, now again, I'll put that in the comments for my proof of that as well. I have about a minute, 30 seconds, so... I think it's important to see that Adam Weishaupt himself was somebody who taught at a university. And to, to not see the connection between the guy who founded the Illuminati teaching at a university and all the colleges, Ivy League schools especially that I named, that are known to have infamous secret societies, is ridiculous. To know that... Um, Bush and Kerry, both members of the Yale Secret Society Skull and Bones, ran against each other, and to not think that's significant is ridiculous. To not understand that the, what, the purpose of keeping a secret in the first place is because society is going to be against that secret for whatever reason. You might have a good reason to keep a secret, but it would take a great fool to think that these people have a good reason, and to think that these people are putting together different organizations such as Google and they're, they're responsible for different revolutions such as the French Revolution and that they don't have uh, an uncanny influence on politics. Now, the Catholic Church became infiltrated by secret societies who were mad at them because they saw them as the main opposition to what they were doing. So they infiltrated it and that's why you have Pope Francis coming out and supporting feminism and homosexuality. Again, I say it one last time and end it with this. People who do not accept the secret societies control the society for the most part should be banned from politics. Thank you.